Well, let's do more of this and hopefully I won't go down into the abyss of suffering. <laughs> Alright, we're up to Bowser's castle. Uh, yeah, thanks for clicking the video if you're watching this later on YouTube. How did I set up those slides for the AFK screen? Oh, I made it. Um, I made an HTML page that cycles them. It's like, yeah. And then I can change them, so I can add more if I want. The unfortunate thing is what I made doesn't work, run on Windows 11, so I have to take a video recording of it. But I'll update it again at some point, so then it's I can keep adding more to it. That's nah, nothing fancy. I mean, okay, it, it might look fancy, but it's not too tricky to make one. It's nice, thanks. Yeah, it's gone through a bunch of iterations. Would have been nice if Windows 11. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Just in the defense of Windows 11, it's, I'm sure it probably would have happened anyway eventually. Just things age and stop running. They used to have a more fancy one that um, would like do dynamic pop ups and stuff when people followed and whatnot, but it got distracting. So I decided to go very minimal. Well, for a while I thought, oh yeah, this is just the thing you have to do on Twitch, just do that stuff, but not my personal taste, I guess. Oh. Hello. What on earth? Can I... Can I keep going? Hey! No, okay. A lot of those messages, <laughs> just, most people won't get them because they're just inside jokes to streams. Just dumb things I've said or done or... Why don't I remember this bird? Oh, okay. Thought there was more to that one. Ah, <laughs> oh, what? Okay. This is a cool looking stage, it's just, when I saw this and was like, wait, this is Bowser's castle this time around? I wonder if they'll ever do a mainline 3D Mario game where Bowser isn't 
the big bad. I mean, they do it sometimes in the RPG games, but... I'm, I'm thinking at some point, I don't know, is it going to get stale? <laughs> it's been over 30 years. I kind of like it when Mario and Bowser team up. That's why the RPG games are interesting. That and just, I guess the tone is more ridiculous. Bowser. Bowser, Lord Bowser. Your guard robot has been defeated. What shall we do? Open the gates. <laughs> what do you mean, open the gates? Let him in. A different story if I found a way to open the gates, but this is just like rolling out the red carpet practically. Just making sure. At some point, I'm going to be correct. <laughs> uh, I think the internet has ruined me. All I could think there was like, hmm, probably not something you'd want to do is just um, stick a body part in a random hole that's just in a wall. <laughs> what am I doing? This is like a children's game. Stop. Especially, okay, like remove the whole thing I'm trying to hint at. It's just like a, an enemy's castle, like why would you do that? For all you know that's what he's waiting for and the moment you stick the body part in it's just chop chop. Up. 
I thought there might be a purpose. <laughs> there is no purpose. Oh, okay. It's fine. Is this anything? Okay. <laughs> Seems to be a common occurrence, hiding moons in random holes. something, right? Oh, wait, I can... Wait, how'd I do that? I somehow poked the floor. There we go. Okay, how about I do that? No? I'm trying my hardest today to not get into a position where, like, <laughs> I'm getting infuriated by a platforming section. over there. Oh, I have to go there anyway. Okay, cool. Oh, what is this? Okay, this is spooky. Why is there a stabbable wall here? Okay. <laughs> Nothing. Is Sticky Beak an expression that everyone understands, or is this like an, another Australian thing? I was just thinking about that now. Why almost? Almost went off the edge. I had a teacher that that was their go-to, just calling people Sticky Beak. so far.
Open the door. Let the hero in. Yahoo! Don't tighten up security. Just open, open the gates. of the concept of of like using a beak as an analogy for someone being nosy because that's effectively what it meant sticky beak but i just didn't get it it's like why does why does the beak have to be sticky Oh, they do have a store here. Well, that worked. Dressed like a samurai, I'm guessing. Or a business samurai. these two. Actually, I'll get this. Man, just these, these humans, <laughs> like, creep me out. I don't know, they just have, like, these lifeless expressions. Good. Oh. Okay, well. Oh, this is cool. I should play through Mario 1 someday, <laughs> on stream. I mean, it'd be something that would go pretty quickly, but just... I don't think I've ever done it. I've played Mario 3 plenty of times. It's one of those games where... I feel like, I don't know, the interest in it wouldn't be that big. So it took me forever to play Super Mario World as well, because I feel like that's one of those games that's just been seen a million times. Maybe for Christmas this year, I'll, I'll do that. That's the tradition. Just play like a game from childhood. Oh, that was the... Oh, um. 
пока. Alright, we're done here. Business Samurai. Hmm? I think I need an outfit for this. Do I have an outfit like that? Let's have a look. The closest thing is the straw hat. It's like close. Or specifically, it's looking for this. Yeah, it's not this. I'm going back to the armor. I don't remember what this is. Whoops. Got to change the bottom one. Maybe it's the other outfit. There's a bird on this one. I don't think it matters. Oh. oh, an even simpler answer than that. <laughs> of course it is. Okay, I'm an idiot. Well, it was off screen. This is just one of those times where, like, just thinking outside the box, it's worse. I'm thinking of a convoluted answer, which in some game would have come in handy, where, like, the puzzles are convoluted. Just not this one. This is not the game to be doing that in. Forward. Oh, this isn't available yet. about hold on oh it's just pressure sensitive one of these will be a moon I have to shake the controller, otherwise it is painfully slow. It's alright. Am 
Am I wasting my time? <laughs> Come on. Oh, well. Kinda not a waste. I'm bringing this with me. Wasting my time. Okay. Clearly not the answer. I mean, this is just a simple thing, isn't it? Just enter the arena. <laughs> the boss wasn't kidding when he said you two were persistent. But I owe it to the family, to all the brutals, to come at you with everything I got. Alright. Just making sure. <laughs> yep, the wedding's almost here. The boss is getting ready to in the keep up ahead. But you two can scram because you're not invited. Hurry up and do the slam. Good. <laughs> I shouldn't have. Oh, there's coins there. All right. Gotta get him. Do the thing. Oh, 
Ow. Damn it, I could have done that without losing the extra health. That statue had to be there for a reason, the other one. Okay. That's actual red carpet. Wait, what is this about? This... That is going to some other thing. Okay, I mean, these things aren't difficult to fight. I guess I should get it to destroy these. Can I? No, I can't command them. Do it. Nice. <laughs> I got a bunch of them. Is this even going to pay off? Good! Oh wow, what am I doing? Ooh. All the coins! I just <laughs> narrowly got caught. Oh well. I'm still going back. Well, at least now that I know that there's nothing in these ones, I can just jump to the top. See ya! That last one. Wait, that's it? Oh. <laughs> Highly suspicious of that statue. <laughs> what do I even do with that? I don't see a spot that is obvious. This is here for a reason, it has to be.
hate that I have to shake it to make it move at a decent pace. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I've looked. I'll bring it with me, but I don't think it has a purpose. Okay, maybe just to find that. Maybe that's its purpose. Oh no, this, this is where the road ends. I won't be able to take it any further. Okay. There's still so many coins missing. something. There's gotta be more to this. Oh, here we go. But I need the bird. Alright, I think I'm done for now. Oh, it's one of these again. Well, there's the bird if I really wanna. But I didn't see anything that... I mean, is this a rabbit hole I wanna go down? <laughs> I'm gonna walk with the bird. I'll have a look. I don't think this is something that will result in a moon. The only thing I think of is like maybe coins on low ground somewhere. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, okay. I suppose it does help you get up here. You don't have the platforming skills, you can get up this way.
Whoops. <laughs> My bad. There's nothing here. Oh, well, that gave me air. Really? There's nothing here? Camera. There we go. I just love how this, these explosives that get out thwarted by basically a toothpick. You get thwarted by a toothpick. This is its own thing, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm not trying to murder it yet. I'm trying to do this first. Although, this might be actually going forward. Yeah, I don't want to do this yet. This first. this <laughs> oh it's tired I'm not gonna do the tired voice <laughs> I want to speak normally tomorrow. Whoops, 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 whoops. <laughs> it's okay, it's just here. It's not disastrous. Okay, I'm tired of you.
That's better. I'm just being impatient. Like, I, I know writing it will work, but... So does this. Had another sticky beak situation. Everything is fine, everything is fine. Not done yet. There's definitely got to be stuff here. Even if it's just coins, it doesn't matter. Just making sure. Camera, please. Not yet. I love that you can stab the fire out. Just gonna have a quick look. Another sticky beak. Ow. Oh, it's just coins. are permanently on. Alright. There we go.
probably should have seen that one coming. All oh, right, <laughs> the brood machine. Did he say go to hell? It sounded like it. It was probably nothing, but it just sounded like it. Good. Come here, sticky beak. Good job. Do I have to do this in order? No, I don't. I mean, I probably could have. There we go. I'm just getting the side ones first. Not that it matters. Please. Oh. Well, see, maybe I just screwed myself a little bit. The top one, isn't it? Oh my god. Stop. Quick. Ah! Have I just made this annoying <laughs> by taking her out first? Okay, well. There is also this as an option. Yeah, okay, this is better. Dude, should have gone with a simple one. There we go. do the whole thing again. Alright, skip. I'm getting my coins back.
less complication. Wow, this one's annoying. I think I should just go for the other one. This one's too annoying. I'm gonna try. No, screw it. Hey! Really? At least this time I got him. It's time for fancy legs. Oh, wow, that's annoying. I'm not going to make it in time. No, got it. Oh, just. All right, one more. No! Okay. <laughs> I almost got knocked off. Yeah, not yet. Not yet. There's still stuff to do. Wait, what is this? Or is here? Oh, okay. I mean, I recognize it. Ah, let's see. I don't think you can get here without going down that pipe. 
the seat over there. Um, I guess do that room first, because this is on high ground. I'm gonna have to look at the whole thing. There we go. I wonder what the difference is. There appears to be none. There should be a second moon here. Oh. Oh, no, hold on. Okay, there we go. Okay, it's not time. Good. This was time, this would be cruel. Oh. No, that's yeah, fine. Why, why, why? I don't know why I did that. Oh my god. <laughs> really? Ugh. Okay. Do I have to get it again? I might have to get it again. need to be more patient with it. There we go. Okay. Probably better for me to go this way. No, no, I almost messed that up.
Oh boy, it's not. Oh, what have I done? No, I messed it up. I messed it up! <laughs> I faked myself out. It's another one of these. Wait, is it not going to respawn? I oh, know there it is. Oh, camera. Good. <laughs> Good. What's wrong with me? There we go. Oh, hello. That's one way to get those coins. Alright. I jumped again. I'm an idiot. Ugh, I keep... <laughs> it's a ramp. I need to stop jumping. I mean, I guess if I want coins, it's not a bad place to go get coins. Okay. Wait here, it'll respawn. Let me try this. There we go. May as well. Since I'm gonna get this anyway, I may as well get some use out of it. Okay, don't get faked out. Oh, that's risky. Okay, let's you reset, so that's nice. There we go. Alright, finally. Hey, Corin, love the song. Yeah. It's so happy. How's it going? I need to... Uh, I guess I can get up this way. Right. Oh no, this is something completely different. Probably go back for those coins. Oh, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> 
Ah. It's only Thursday, you gotta go to a winter concert. Oh, enjoy. How long is it? Probably now. That's not too bad. Oh, you're kidding. No, this this is a cappy thing. Yeah, there we go. It's cold and PJs are cozy. Yeah. No, I would definitely opt for just staying cozy. Oh, what have I done? Sometimes I just release this bird too early. Yeah, no, not yet. We're getting close. I was worried that I'd hit the cap for coins before I got to moon. But this is good. back up. Like at this point. Oh, there's still so many. I'm going to the roof. It's just easier instead of going through this whole thing again. There's a moon over there. Hmm. How was my day? It was alright. A bit long, but... Fine. Just work. Almost the end of the week. I gotta catch multiple rabbits. Time do I usually end work? I try to get things done before five, but sometimes it can go over. It just depends what I have to do. Like sometimes it will go over, sometimes I can wrap up sooner. It's just it's pretty flexible. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Keep, keep smacking. No. Ah. 
Oh, it's just a coin. I went to that effort, so I got the moon one right away. How many moons are there? I don't remember. There's a lot of them. This has to be something that comes from a picture. I mean, I want to say, like, a thousand, but who knows. Maybe 500 is probably a better number. Oh, this is just that. Yep, there we go. Oh, I missed some on the other roof. I was too busy chasing. You don't really notice it because there's just so many in each stage. possible that that place that I was seeing is a painting. If anything seems like crazy out of reach, it's probably a painting. This is not the one! <laughs> this is 100% not the one. Okay, hold up. Get it! <sighs> From Taz, you never been to the mainland? Oh, really? Come up sometime. Tazzy's cool. I've been a couple times. Oh, okay. There's no second version of it. Is that it for the roof? It's going to bother me if I don't check. I'm just going to look at the perimeter. The only thing I don't like about Tazzy is just the bees. They scared the living crap out of me the first time I went. I woke up. I'm just barely awake. Going to get some breakfast and then this blob just flies at me. Scared the crap out of me. Bees? Yeah, well, we had Because in mainland- in mainland Australia we have the small bees. The European ones, because I, I guess they killed the native ones. So Tasmania has the actual native bees of Australia. And I had never seen them before, so... You know, the bees are the size of a coin here, and then imagine having one the size of a golf ball just fly at you at high speeds. And because the bees are aggressive, the little ones, I thought that those ones would be aggressive, but they're not. They're pretty docile. Just, that was one of my first memories of Tasmania, was like getting off the boat, 
and then going to bed, waking up the next day, going to get breakfast, and then that happened. How big are the coins? Just a small coin. Golf ball, don't know about that. It felt that way, okay? <laughs> There might, there might be exaggeration. But they're definitely a lot bigger. Oh, that's how you get over there. If you've never seen them before, they will feel gigantic. Oh, there's actual fishing here. Alright, we wait. They're a couple millimeters bigger than a dollar coin. That's still pretty massive. Compared to what I'm used to. Well, I'm, they're not aggressive when you compare them to the other ones, I guess. The mainland ones. Yeah, our dollar coin. It's kind of a difficult comparison. I think currency was probably the worst unit of measurement I could come up with to get, like, a common understanding. Okay, so if you take, like, 6,000 bees and put them in an Olympic-sized swimming pool... <laughs> I'm sorry. That's just, like, the common comparison they use to get an understanding. It's like, when they're talking about quantities, they're like, Oh, enough to fill six Olympic-sized swimming pools. It's like... When did that become our unit of measurement, just to be able to communicate that with everyone? Gonna say a dollar coin is not that big. It depends where you're from. I should probably stand still. Our dollar coin is an inch big. There you go. Okay, how about this, like, the mainland bees are probably just a little bit bigger than a button on a controller. <laughs> just a, a, a fraction bigger. Oh, I guess it depends what controller. Never mind, I'm, I'm just gonna stop. It's, like, 11 o'clock at night. I, just trust me, it'll scare the living crap out of you if you're used to a tiny thing, and then that tiny thing, like, triples in size. That's- that's it. That's all you need to know. Or at least it feels like it did, I don't know. Where's the big fish? I'm probably being impatient here and I should just sit still and it'll come to me. Instead of me trying to look for it. Controller button universal <laughs> measurements. Screw the metric system. Wow. Listen, the metric system is great. It's so easy to convert from one unit to another. Just I, I've watched the video on how the imperial units work. First of all, like what they're fundamentally based on, but then also just how you convert from one to another. It's just absolute chaos. Like how can how can you? live with a system like that when there's something that is just easier to understand available well i tried not moving i guess i really do have to hunt down the big one huh
the size of a Switch is one, two, three, two. Oh, man. Okay, here's, here's a question. When I say sticky beak, does everyone understand what I mean? I've been thinking about that because there's a bird in this and I just thought like, oh yeah, sticky beak. No? No? Okay, so it's definitely an Australian thing. Okay, no, the brick got it. <laughs> I had a teacher that just when someone was being nosy would just say, oh, you're being a bit of a sticky beak, aren't you? Or was telling a story be like, Oh, you know, there was a commotion over at the neighbor's house and they went and had a bit of a sticky beak. It's just, that was their thing. I just thought of it because the bird in this game, I was just sticking my nose in, in random crevices. Your teachers are the exact same. Oh, well, there you go. Am I wasting my time? Is, is there even a big fish here? <laughs> I haven't seen a big shadow. Usually there's a, there's a moon associated with the fishing. Alright, well, if not sticky beak, what do you say when someone's trying to be nosy without calling them nosy? Like, a colloquial term. There is one out there, so I just have to look. All right. Good to know. You should know that I'm cursed when it comes to looking for things. The moment I say that I'm looking for something, it disappears off the face of the earth. There it is. Just don't mess it up. Oh! <laughs> oh no! I thought that was it. Oh, you know what? I I play. I was playing Animal Crossing before this, and I I counted to five. That's what happened. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought I was fishing in Animal Crossing. <laughs> oh no! M Y O B. Okay. I've heard that. But I guess, in a, like, instead of saying mind your own business, I've heard mind your own beeswax. Because of course we can't be normal. Yeah, mind your own beeswax. I guess, there you go. That too? Okay, good. That's... That's more for kids. What, kids don't have business? He's saying children can't have business. I can't believe I can't believe I let the Animal Crossing muscle memory get me. Like, what is wrong with me? Kids say mind your own beeswax. I never said mind your own beeswax as a kid. In Spanish, there's just, well, at least, unless it's slang, it just vanished on me. It just the word the adults would say metido oh there it is okay stop 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 
Nosy Parker? Okay, that, that definitely sounds British. Oh, stop being a nosy Parker. Good! There we go. Oh, it's Doggo. You had it said to you, you were a nosy kid. Yeah, I mean... I wasn't nosy, it was more when I heard something that... I felt like was just... I don't know, like it didn't make sense, I'd be like, wait, what do you mean? That doesn't make sense. And then I'd get, I'd be told, like, metido, which means, you know, just nosy, stay out of it. <laughs> Vandalism! Yeah, the teachers were sticky beak. I can't believe there's so many more moons in this. I thought I, this was one of the smaller worlds, but I guess not. There's a hundred coins. Alright, I mean, we're more than halfway. I don't know. I feel like not answering a kid's question <laughs> and just calling him nosy is lazy. Oh. I saw that. It's like kids are curious. Just. Unless they're. You ever had that annoying childhood friend that just was one of those kids that weren't why? And then you'd elaborate and then they'd be like, why? But why? And it's not that they really care, that they just. They're just being annoying. Do we say sir or ma'am to people? Hmm. Um... In school? I guess? In public? I don't know. I don't think I ever have. You enjoy being lazy or just not answering kids' questions? Oh, what have I done? WHAT HAVE I DONE?! <laughs> oh, it's a long death, this one. Working retail, hello, sir, or ma'am. Uh, no, I never got formal. I mean, granted, I worked at Kmart. That's not exactly the most formal of places. What's the thing? I, I never really addressed them. I'd just be like, hey. How can I help you? Just polite, but I wouldn't say, hey, sir, or hey, ma'am. Just not, I guess, using a term to address them. Just, hey, how can I help? The dude who takes your order at the pizza place always says, hi, miss, when you order stuff, it feels weird. Yeah. I remember the first time I got called sir, it was just strange. It was for work, like, we had to go fly to another state, and because it was, like, a pretty tedious job, my boss was like, alright, we'll do, because it was just a, a local flight, right, like, we'll do business class just to get that comfort, because it's a long flight, and it's a bit of a tedious job. The first time I ever experienced such a thing, they were all addressing me as sir, and just, I felt like a fish out of water, man. <laughs> just... They'd come up to me and offer, th they'd like, you know, they'd say sir or mister, whatever my surname is. And just offer me things like, would you like a beer, sir? Um, I would be like, no. And then my boss would turn to me and be like, they're free, get a beer. It's to be polite, right. But I guess I had flown 
coach and that's not a thing. They just don't do that. I don't know. It just, it felt weird to me. I mean, how old was I? I would have been like 22 at the time, so I definitely did not feel at, that I was at the point where people should be calling me sir. <laughs> Stop calling me ma'am. Yeah, 2B. I think it, it just because it, it makes you feel old at a certain point. It's like in... When you're watching anything where, like, it's anime or something Japanese and they have, like, that word for old man and old lady. And though it's a, a thing of respect, like, sometimes characters hate it. They're like, stop calling me old man or stop calling me old lady. At least when you're ordering pizza and they call you miss, that's something for someone who's young still. If you get a ma'am, that's a... Uh, yeah. I don't know, what, what sounds older, sir or mister? I feel like mister is older. I'm just gonna double check. Sorry. What am I missing here? Ignore the rabbits. Of Mister sounds older. Yeah, that's what I think. What's the pipe for? Is this just like a convenience thing? You feel even more weird though. You'd be mad if he said man, but you feel too old to be called Miss. Yeah, that makes sense. Maybe you don't look your age. Or maybe it's just like a form of flattery, I don't know. Oh, oh, okay, it's one of these. Both sound old, but one of them surely sounds older, no? I guess the frame, the frame of, the frame of reference that I have is Ferris Bueller's Day Off, where like one of the one of the the guys demands that the principal call him sir. So that to me is just like okay, it's still young. A young person can be called sir. Was that a roast? Was what a roast? Probably not. If it was... If it sounded like a roast, I'm sorry. Did not intend to be one. I don't even remember what I said, to be honest. It's at that point of night where, like, the midnight brain is kicking in. Tonight's been good. I haven't had any platforming sections that have truly, truly hated. That I've truly hated. If you were a random person out in public and I was trying to get your attention, what would I call out? And just be like, hey. I wouldn't do it from a distance, like, if I'm trying to get your attention... I... I guess I'd walk up or, like, get into... Within your, like, range of vision and just be like, excuse me.
Oh! Perspective. It's not midnight yet, start making excuses. It's getting there. If you shake it goes faster, it does. I just, I don't want to. <laughs> the Wii era, that's just... The Wii era just ruined motion controls. I do it out of protest. Yeah, I can't say I can think of a scenario where I've called someone sir outside of high school. That was probably the only time where we had to. So I guess Australia's just not like that, like... In lieu of sir, people just say mate. Like if I'm trying- if someone's trying to get my attention, I've definitely heard like people say mate. Hey mate. Or oi. Just even just oi. <laughs> You know, they got someone's attention. Oi! Yeah. I was watching this Aussie comedian, and he brought up something that I just never thought of until he brought it up, but, you know, he's made a career for himself in America. He does the whole Australia bit, but one thing we do that I'd never realized until he pointed it out was just if you're on the phone with an Australian, or just in general, the way we say goodbye is pretty weird. It's like, we don't just say goodbye, we kind of Prolong it, it's like we'll say, okay, yep, see ya, bye. It's like two things before, a minimum of two things before we say bye. Okay, yep, see ya, bye. There's another one here, that's that panel there. Um, the comedian Monty, I forget his surname. I, at the very least, do the okay, yep, part. Or okay, cool, like... If I'm finishing a conversation, okay, cool, or okay, yep. Franklin, that's it. Yeah. Monty Franklin. I mean, he's alright. It's... This humor is like, just self-aware Australian stuff.
Fine, I'll shake the controller. <laughs> I don't like it, but I'm gonna shake the damn controller. He's not bad, he has like a lot of shorts and stuff on YouTube and TikTok and Insta. You can get the gist of his comedy. So, how are we doing this? Don't watch for that panel. I'm gonna laugh if I've done this and it's actually not a thing. But usually these sub areas have two moons, so. Yeah, it's not open yet. Okay, so. Let's just see what the go is. There's definitely a way to open it. Oh. I think I know what it is. But then, how would I get back? Alright, hold on. I can get across here, right? Because if I can, then that's the answer. Okay. <laughs> scary, but I got there. Because there's a button down here. Oh, but I've already pressed it. Have I messed- have I messed this up? Oh, now I have! Ah! Alright. There's definitely a moon there, I just need to see how to open it, that's all. That's what I got for shaking the controller. The answer to this is going to be something very simple and I'm gonna hate it. It's just the golden rule is the longer something takes to figure out, the more likely that the answer is something very minor that you overlooked. And you're gonna feel like a dumbass. I guess all this is used for is just to bury this thing. I get the feeling it's the torches at the top that I just have to extinguish or something.
aggressive. So here I am. Hmm. What have I overlooked? Oh. No? Gotta be something I've overlooked. Oh, there's a button at the start. There's a button at the start. <laughs> see it. Okay. Uh... Alright, alright. I don't think I can long jump against... Well, let's just assume this is fine. If it's not, well... There we go. Told ya. Something minor and dumb that I overlooked. Oh no. I think I need to rethink this. This has to be a long jump then. Oh! Maybe not. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. One more attempt. Uh oh. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> Wait, what if I. Oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh, that's a dark! I thought you could stand on its head. Ah. I thought you could stand on its head. I can't stand on its head? No, come on. I can stand on its head. Oh, no, you can't. It's treated like, uh, like an enemy. Okay. Well, then it has to be that... The central one. I have to long jump across this. <sighs> I jinxed myself. <laughs> I said, oh, there's no platforming section that's given me grief today. Absolutely not falling. This is it. So I need to... Almost went over. Okay. These first. Good enough. the landing. <laughs> oh, this is scary. I feel like the way I have to do this is throw the hat. Hang on. 
get it directly in the middle and then do this. There we go. Okay. <laughs> what was that? 15 minutes? 20 minutes? May as well get the coins. Okay, I have three coins missing. <laughs> First try? Yeah. I mean, it could have been worse. Yesterday was definitely worse. I went through a lot to do <laughs> the bare minimum. Oh, there's something. What's that? A sticky beak. Okay, hang on. Because Oh, unfortunately there's no coins here. Yeah. In though. I'm just missing three of the special coins. Oh, there's a moon there. Another sticky bake situation. Okay, I feel better about the moons now. I'm gonna take a look here, because I might be able to spot out coins if I see them. Climb across these, it's just should I? Probably not. I don't see a benefit, I don't see coins. Oh my god. 
Oh, I'm just these core memories coming back just of teachers. I had a teacher that um graphic design wasn't his thing. So there was one day where he was a substitute for graphic design. He was normally a math teacher. And I don't even remember the context of, like, why he said it, but he was talking about erasing guidelines or something. I think it was something along those lines, but the way he phrased it was like, oh, you get out your rubber dub dubs and then you erase them lines. And just the look of just utter confusion on everyone when he said that. I don't know why that just came back to me all of a sudden. I guess I guess because of the, the sticky beak thing. I just thought more of just strange mannerisms that certain teachers had, and that dude, like, him and his rubber dub dubs. Trying to find these final three coins. It's highly possible that. Well, I guess we'll see. I, I'm pretty sure I was pretty thorough here. Oh no, no, I wasn't. I saw them. Got it. No, ah, take, take the bird. They're over there. I can see them. <laughs> I was not thorough enough. They're over here. Just gotta do a bit of a sticky beak around the corner. Around the corner! <laughs> Whoops. You're all gonna be saying it now, like the sticky beak thing. Wait, oh, this is... this is... back. Cool. Well, that's good. At least they have all the coins. Okay, come here, Sticky Beak. Oh, this is too early, right? No. Wait, where am I? Where is he? Okay, I know where he is. Okay, this is it. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> There's probably a moon there. Ugh, damn it. There's probably a moon there. Hold on. I'm here. I may as well buy the things. I don't know. It's just... I don't... The eyes of these characters, they just look like they're dead on the inside. They're just not expressive. I think that's my problem with them. It's not their height relative to Mario. It's just they have these dead eyes. That's what it is. That's what's bothering me about them. It's too real. I don't think it's too real. 
they still look pretty cartoonish. I think it's just their faces. They're just... They're not expressive when you compare it to Mario. They almost look like a stock asset. <laughs> I don't want to insult the artist who made them, but like... The face is very stock asset. The dead on the inside eyes are too real, I guess. You have eyes like that. Okay, cool. Uh, that's all the coins. I mean, that's all I wanted to get, I think. There's still more moons, but, I, like, I'm not in a rush to get all of them just yet. So, I'd like to revisit the kingdoms and come back and get whatever's remaining. I just play it to the point where I feel like I've progressed enough been pretty thorough. start again. I've done the Goomba thing. Oh, there's like... Huh. <laughs> I didn't go back for this. Okay, well now this is permanently open. That should have happened at the start. My bad. I kind of just went onwards without... Yeah, we're good here. Definitely above quite up. <laughs> Bowser's not getting away. We'll chase him all the way to the Moon Kingdom. Come on, let's save those two. We got the fancy talks. Cool. Cool idea for a final area. Well, don't you look, Dapper. Those two must be over there. No time to dilly dally. Let's go. Got 
guess a lot. <laughs> to be continued. It's a good stopping point for tonight. Because I don't think this is a terribly long world. Like, I believe you can only do so much and then you gotta fight. But then there's plenty of stuff to do after you beat the quote, beat the game. So, don't worry. I'm gonna attempt to get all the moons and stuff. But we're gonna leave it here. So, yeah, if you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end and. If you want to support the channel over there, just do things like click the like button, or you can also watch me play other things by clicking one of the videos that pop up, if you want to. It does help out a lot, so thank you to those that do do that. I do appreciate it. Alright, but we'll see you next time.